Hi guys, uh, I got into a discussion earlier in the week in a group that I'm in about people buying product and never using it and they're just, you know, feeling guilty about it or whatever. And so I put my mind to it and I thought, you know, I know in this massive room of things that as I look around my eyes just dart back and forth. There are things that I absolutely had to have that I never used. So I issued myself a challenge to create something using product that I've had in my stash for a while and something that I've never used before that has been in my stash for a while. So I kind of want to walk through the project that I created with you guys today and kind of explain some of that going on. I've always had a self challenge to use something old with something new. And if you go back and look at all my projects, um, there's always a glimpse of a vintage type scrapbooking project in every project that I do. Uh, for one thing, it's empowering to know that something's getting used. And I buy things in such massive quantities all the time that it just seems like we become, I, I know we're all guilty of this, we just go on these rants of buy, 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 and then it inspired you, but then you never get around to doing anything with it. So I'm breaking that. And from here till the end of December, I am issuing myself a challenge to use the products that I own and embrace them. And if I'm not going to use them, to give them to someone who will. And there is um, a young girl that is in my community and I just purged a ton of scrapbook stuff and gave it to her. And I know it will be loved and used and it, you know, it felt good to get rid of it. And truthfully to this day, I don't miss any of it. I've, I've I just know that it's stuff I, you know, have been tripping over for years now. So, um, I'm going to quit babbling and get on to my project share, but basil cardstock in the background, I haven't had, I haven't bought a sheet of basil cardstock in well over three years. So that just tells you how much of the stuff I've owned. Um, and I know it's basil because it has the texture on it. So again, this has been in my stash for several years, several years. I used to buy it 25 sheets at the time and I know black cardstock is like a staple in every scrapbook, um, room. It seems like everyone has black cardstock. So I use that as my base. The paper that is next in line here is the, uh, reflections collection. It's called Shalimar from Prima and this came out last year. So it's been out for a really long time. It was 2011. That's a year. It's over a year old in my stash. And then the next is the fairy bell paper. And while that is a new collection, uh, it is something that I have used quite a bit of in the last month, couple of months. But, um, I'm one of those people that after I make three or four projects with the paper line, I don't use it anymore, but I still have massive quantities of it because when I buy it, I buy three sheets of every paper plus I buy the, the six by six paper pad because I like to have enough to be able to fussy cut and um, if I mess something up, I've got an extra to fall back on and I want enough to where if I make mini albums or things like that, I've, I've got plenty left over. I know I cannot be the only one who does this. so. Uh, what I've done here is this is a sheet that I had actually cut probably uh, two inches off of to use on the layout that I had made and this was the remaining and I cut it down to fit it actually fit this layout so again a piece of scrap for my stash even though it's new collection it's still old and then this is a piece of the printery collection from last year so um, it's the six by six paper pad. It's one of the sheets that was left over in that. And then these little flags here on the end are the strip that came off of the die cut page when I cut it down from the almanac paper. So I would consider this kind of new, but then this is a piece of scrap that we would have ordinarily thrown away. And what I did was I just clipped these little corners off to make it a, um, little banner, which adds a nice little accent again, using a piece of scrap. These are e-line flowers that Prima put out several years ago. They put out this big, huge bucket of white flowers. And I have thousands of these, thousands of them. And recently I've been using them quite a bit because they're flat and I really like daisies. So I just, to give them new life, painted them up to match the, the um, paper that's in the background. 
This is actually a rosebud. It's the Prima Rosebuds. And I will show you how I did this to this flower um, in another video, probably coming up by the end of the weekend. This is a piece of the Almanac paper, new, um, six by six. So with something new, I have several things that are old. And then this is also from the Almanac collection and it says, today was beautiful with you. And then this is the drum roll. The product that I have owned for years that I've never used is the telephone. This is a Sizzix die cut that I thought was absolutely adorable. Had to have it, had to have it. I bought it, uh, it's gotta be two years ago now, over at least over a year ago. I've never used it in a project, ever. So, today was the first. And what I did was I cut it out of black chipboard and I used some UD, which again has been in my stash for a while, but I do go through this stuff quite a bit. So um, I put the UD over the top and it made it look all enamel like those old telephones are. This is from the Almanac collection and this is from Tim Holtz's placards, which I go through these like they're water. I use them on almost everything. This is something new. This is a piece of washi tape that I cut the design out of. I believe it's a Recollections washi tape. Um, but again, a new purpose for that. And I just used it there in the center as an accent piece. And then <clears throat> this layout is going to be more or less about a memory that I have of someone and myself. So I don't want to say who or what yet, but because um, it's kind of private. But... There's a picture of me, and then what I will do is add my story on this, and it's probably going to be one of them pull-out things, but I'm going to add my story about that person here. So the telephone kind of goes with the story, um, and then I'm going to put the, the person, maybe put the person's name here, just because I don't want to give it away yet. So, But there is a magnet in here that is holding this piece down, and so when it closes, it, it kind of snaps back into place. So there's my layout. I hope you like it. Um, when I do the back side of page two, I will share that with you. And then, um, but what I really want to do here is issue a challenge that everyone, it's a contest. Let's do a contest. If you have stuff in your stash, I'm going to urge you to do a project of any kind using product that you had in your stash for a long time. You can incorporate one new item, but for every new item that you add, you must add something old. And um, the challenge is going to be to use a product that you've bought that you've never used before. Um, it can be a die. It can be anything. Um, go ahead and do it. It, it. There's going to be two ways you could win, or there's only one one winner, but two ways you can submit. You can do a video response to this, or in you can send me a private message with a link to a blog post. But you must reference this video on your blog post, and you must reference um, this video in your your verbal um, video in your video response. Uh, all entries must be submitted by. Hmm, let's let's give you through the sep to, to September 1st, midnight Eastern Standard Time, September 1st, and then I'll pick a winner sometime that week. Um, I'll try and compile all of the responses that were blog posts, maybe on my blog, and um, you know that way everybody can get a chance to look at the projects too, even if there's not a video response. So. Anyway, like I said, this is more or less just a challenge to use what you have in your stash and, you know, go back through products that have never been used, but you just had to have. And, oh, in the response, go ahead and tell me what it was that you had to have um, that you never used. Um, I think that'll be fun. It'll kind of add some of the to the story. Anyway, and I'll put together a little goodie package to send out to you guys um, after the you know, 1st of September. When I announce the winner, I'll show what they're going to win. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And um, I look forward to seeing all your video responses.